Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we are talking about insurance premium finance. From the onset, we want you to note that an insurance contract requires an upfront premium payment before the policy is put in place. This is either the law, in some jurisdictions, or good business practice in others. Whatever the case, one is required to pay the full premium before the policy commences. While this may not be a problem for some individuals and companies, it is a real challenge to many people. They may need help paying their premiums or be without insurance. This is why financing companies came up with insurance premium finance products. Kindly picture the following. You are a business owner or individual who needs to pay for insurance premiums but doesn't have the cash in hand to pay the full premium. Managing cash flow can be a challenge for businesses and individuals alike, especially when it comes to paying insurance premiums. Insurance premium finance is a financing option that can help ease this burden by allowing policyholders to spread the cost of premiums over a longer period of time. In this video, we'll explain how insurance premium finance works as a product, its benefits and potential drawbacks, advantages it offers in cash flow management, how to determine if it's the right choice for your specific needs, and what to consider when selecting a premium finance provider. By the end of this lesson, you'll have a solid understanding of how insurance premium finance can help you manage your cash flow and pay for the insurance coverage you need. Whether you're looking to finance commercial or personal insurance premiums, this video will provide you with a comprehensive overview of insurance premium finance and help you decide if it's the right option for you. So, let's dive in. What is insurance premium finance? Insurance premium finance refers to the practice of financing insurance premiums by taking out a loan or financing agreement. This type of financing is typically used by businesses or individuals who need to pay large insurance premiums but do not have the cash on hand to do so. Instead of paying the full premium up front, the policyholder can borrow the funds from a lender and make regular payments over time. The lender typically charges interest on the loan, which is added to the overall cost of the insurance premium. This means that the policyholder will end up paying more in total for the insurance coverage than if they had paid the full premium up front. However, for some businesses or individuals, this may be a more manageable way to pay for insurance, particularly if they need to spread the cost over a longer period of time. It is important to note that insurance premium finance is regulated in some jurisdictions and may be subject to certain rules and regulations. If you are considering using insurance premium finance, it is important to do your research and understand the terms and conditions of the financing agreement before committing to it. How Insurance Premium Financing Works Insurance premium financing works by allowing policyholders to obtain a loan from a premium finance company to pay for their insurance premiums. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of how insurance premium financing typically works. Application The policyholder submits an application for premium financing to a premium finance company. The application may require information about the insurance policy, the premium amount, and the policyholder's financial details. Loan Approval The premium finance company reviews the application and assesses the creditworthiness of the policyholder. If approved, the finance company offers a loan to the policyholder to cover the insurance premium. Premium Payment Once the loan is approved, the premium finance company pays the full premium amount to the insurance company on behalf of the policyholder. This ensures that the policy remains in force. Loan Repayment the policyholder then repays the loan to the premium finance company in installments over a predetermined period. The repayment schedule is typically monthly, but it can vary depending on the terms of the loan agreement. Interest and Fees The policyholder pays interest on the loan amount, which is determined by the interest rate set by the premium finance company. Additionally, there may be administrative fees and other charges associated with the financing arrangement. Default and Consequences If the policyholder fails to make timely payments on the loan, 
it can result in default. In such cases, the premium finance company may take actions such as canceling the loan agreement, charging penalties, or potentially canceling the insurance policy. Completion of loan. Once the policyholder repays the entire loan amount, including any accrued interest and fees, the loan is considered fully paid off. It's important to note that the specific details and terms of insurance premium financing can vary between premium finance companies and jurisdictions. Policyholders should carefully review and understand the terms and conditions of the loan agreement, including interest rates, fees, repayment terms, and potential consequences of default, before entering into a premium financing arrangement. Insurance Premium Financing Example An Illustration Let's take the premium amount for your policy or policies to be Kenya shillings 500,000 or 5,000 US dollars and you are not able to pay this money at once. You can approach an insurance premium financing institutions or banks and ask for financing. Hypothetically, let's say you want to borrow this amount to pay the premiums and pay back in seven installments over seven months. The financier will apply an interest rate based on the amount borrowed and the duration of repayment. In this example, we assume a rate of 2.49%. 500,000 shillings at a rate of 2.49% repayable in 7 months will be calculated as follows. 500,000 multiplied by 2.49% will give an interest of 12,450. Add this interest to the amount of premium being financed and you get 512,450 shillings. To get the monthly installment, divide the total by 7 to get the monthly installments you will be required to pay back to the financier, monthly. The monthly repayment as per the example above is 73207 per month for 7 months. From the illustration above, one is able to do cost and benefits analysis and make an informed decision on whether to finance or not. Determine whether IPF is the right choice. How to determine if insurance premium financing is the right choice for your specific needs. If you're considering insurance premium finance as a method of insurance premium payment, there are a few key factors to consider determining if it's the right choice for your specific needs. Here are some questions to ask yourself. Question 1. Do you have the cash flow to pay for insurance premiums up front? If you do, then you may not need insurance premium finance. However, if you need to spread out the cost of premiums over a longer period of time to manage your cash flow, then insurance premium finance could be a good option. Question 2. How much interest and fees will you pay over the term of the loan? Be sure to carefully review the terms of the loan agreement to understand the total cost of financing the insurance premiums. Question 3. Can you afford the monthly payments? Make sure that the payment schedule works with your budget and cash flow needs. Question 4. What are the consequences of defaulting on the loan? Understand the risks involved if you are unable to make payments on the loan, including potential cancellation of your insurance policy. Question 5. What are the terms and conditions of the financing agreement? Be sure to read the agreement carefully and ask questions if anything is unclear. By considering these factors and weighing the pros and cons of insurance premium finance, you can determine whether it's the right choice for your specific needs. It's also a good idea to talk to your insurance provider or a financial advisor for guidance on whether this financing option is appropriate for your situation. Once you determine that insurance premium financing is a viable option, the next step is choosing the insurance premium financing company. What to consider when selecting a premium finance provider? If you've decided that insurance premium finance is the right choice for your insurance premium payments, it's important to select the right premium finance provider. Here are some factors to consider when choosing a provider. 1. Reputation and Reliability Look for a provider with a good reputation in the industry and a track record of reliable service. Read reviews and ask for referrals from trusted sources. 2. Interest rates and fees. 
Compare the interest rates and fees charged by different premium finance providers. Look for a provider that offers competitive rates and transparent fees. 3. Payment Terms Consider the payment terms offered by each provider, including the length of the loan, the frequency of payments, and the flexibility of the payment schedule. 4. Customer Service Look for a provider that offers responsive customer service and support. You want to be able to reach someone quickly if you have questions or concerns. 5. Regulatory Compliance Make sure that the premium finance provider is licensed and regulated in your state or jurisdiction. Check with your state's insurance department to confirm that the provider is in good standing. 6. Additional Services some premium finance providers may offer additional services, such as online account management, automatic payments, or financial planning tools. Consider these value-added services when choosing a provider. By considering these factors when selecting a premium finance provider, you can find a reputable and reliable partner to help you manage your insurance premium payments. How to Purchase an Insurance Premium Finance here are the steps one needs to complete to purchase or obtain insurance premium financing. 1. Application The policyholder completes an application for premium finance with a premium finance provider, usually through the insurance agent or broker. The application typically requires information about the policyholder, the insurance policy, and the premium amount. 2. Approval the premium finance provider reviews the application and approves the financing, subject to the terms and conditions of the loan agreement. 3. Payment The premium finance provider pays the insurance company the full amount of the premium up front, and the policyholder begins making monthly payments to the finance provider. 4. Interest and fees The policyholder pays interest and fees on the loan, in addition to the principal amount of the premium. The interest rate and fees are typically disclosed up front and may vary depending on the provider. 5. Default If the policyholder fails to make payments on the loan, the finance provider may cancel the financing agreement and or the insurance policy. This could result in the policyholder losing insurance coverage. 6. Payoff once the loan is fully paid off, the policyholder owns the insurance policy outright and no longer owes any payments to the premium finance provider. Insurance premium finance is a common financing option for businesses and individuals who want to manage their cash flow and spread out the cost of insurance premiums over a longer period of time. It's important to carefully review the terms of the loan agreement and understand the total cost of financing before entering into a premium finance arrangement. Advantages of Insurance Premium Finance The primary advantage of insurance premium finance is that it allows businesses or individuals to spread the cost of insurance premiums over a longer period of time, making it easier to manage cash flow. Here are some specific advantages of insurance premium finance. 1. Cash Flow Management By financing insurance premiums, Businesses can free up cash that can be used for other purposes such as investing in the business or paying down debt. 2. Lower upfront costs. Financing insurance premiums can lower the upfront cost of insurance, which can be beneficial for businesses or individuals that may not have the cash on hand to pay for the full premium upfront. 3. Customized payment plans. Insurance premium finance companies often offer customized payment plans that allow policyholders to choose a payment schedule that works best for them, whether it's monthly, quarterly, semi-annually or annually. 4. Fixed interest rates Insurance premium finance companies often offer fixed interest rates, which can make it easier to budget and plan for payments. 5. No collateral required Insurance premium finance typically does not require collateral, which means businesses or individuals do not have to put up assets as security for the loan. It's important to note that insurance premium finance may not be the best option for everyone, and there may be additional costs associated with the financing. 
It's important to do your research and understand the terms and conditions of the financing agreement before committing to it. Disadvantages of Insurance Premium Finance While there are advantages to using insurance premium finance, there are also some potential disadvantages that you should be aware of before deciding to use this type of financing. Here are some of the disadvantages of insurance premium finance. 1. Higher overall cost By financing insurance premiums, policyholders will typically end up paying more in total for the insurance coverage due to the interest and fees charged by the financing company. 2. Potential for default If the policyholder is unable to make the payments on the premium finance loan, the financing company may cancel the policy or pursue legal action to recover the unpaid balance. 3. Impact on credit score If the policyholder fails to make payments on the premium finance loan, it could negatively impact their credit score. 4. Limited flexibility Once a policyholder has signed a premium finance agreement, they may be locked into the payment plan for the duration of the policy term, limiting their flexibility to adjust their payment schedule. 5. Regulatory Restrictions In some jurisdictions, insurance premium finance may be subject to certain regulations, which could limit the availability or flexibility of the financing option. It's important to carefully weigh the advantages and disadvantages of insurance premium finance before deciding whether it's the right option for your specific situation. Be sure to read and understand the terms and conditions of any financing agreement before signing on the dotted line.